Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to VideoLib for Beginners. In this lesson, we'll talk about the second part of the main toolbar. So we already spoke about mixer, text, and audio. But the next tool is filters. Here you can find many cool presets and the intensity is adjustable with the slider. A range will define over which layer it will be applied. Just move the slider to see how the filter can affect all layers, or only some of them. As usual, you have split, duplicate and remove. Then we have adjust which offers a range of features to define the look of your clip, such as brightness, contrast, exposure, offset, saturation, and so on. For those of you who don't know, offset brings the video towards white or black. Saturation and vibrance both raise the amount of color, but Vibrance does it in a more natural way. We then have Effects and Glitch, but we'll dedicate more time to this in another episode because they're more complex. Next is Tone Lab. You can choose one color from the clip and make changes to it while the other colors remain the same. Simply Choose a color and play with the settings to get the result that you like. Inside this tool, like in many others, we have Mask. I will tell you more about Mask later on, but just to give you an idea of what it does, it can hide and reveal parts of the effect using these shapes that can be adjusted for size and smoothness. The last tool is Format, which will help you define the ratio and format of your clip, which is important depending on where you want to display your clip. With Background, you can also choose a background color or create a blur effect. These are the basics for the main toolbar, but there is a lot more, so stay tuned for the next lesson. Thank you for watching.